Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Fraser Forbes, the Dean of Engineering. And I'm very pleased to welcome the Honorable Doug Schweitzer, MLA, and our Minister of Jobs, Economy, and Innovation. Um, the Honorable Demetrius Nicolaitis, uh, MLA, and our Minister for Advanced Education. And our, I'll still call you, call you our new president, if that's okay. <laughs> Bill, Bill Flanagan. And of course, each of you to the Engineering at Alberta El Elko Garage. I'm deeply grateful for this space and rec recognize that the land on which our university sits is within the Treaty 6 territory, traditional lands of our First Nations and Métis people. The Elko Garage is a crucial component of the innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship ecosystem that we are continuing to build. An ecosystem that's laser focused on unleashing the immeasurable capacity of our students and faculty members to continue our legacy of being a key player in building Alberta's economy and the high quality of life that all Albertans enjoy. We make these contributions by providing extraordinary education to our students and through groundbreaking research, innovative research that will pave the way for a successful Alberta for decades to come. Our government of Alberta is, all, it is and always has been an exceptional partner in all that we do, a partner who has enabled us to provide substantial economic and social benefits to Albertans for 112 years. Thus, it gives me great pleasure to welcome the Honourable Doug Schweitzer to the podium. Minister Schweitzer. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Fraser Forbes, the Dean of Engineering, for that uh, kind introduction. And thank you, everybody, for being here today at the University of Alberta in this state-of-the-art engineering garage. We were learning a little bit about the garage here and providing that hands-on experience for our students. So really, it's a credit to the imaginative nature here at the University of Alberta that we have this amazing facility here and the people that are behind it. So thank you so much for putting this in place and allowing us to make this introduction of this announcement here today. So Alberta's post-secondary institutions are leading the cutting edge research that's gonna allow our economy here in the province of Alberta to continue to grow. As we have this, what they're calling the fourth industrial revolution is happening across the world. The emergence of more and more technology adopted into our economy. And here at the University of Alberta, we're at the forefront of that work that's being done. So many of our post-secondary institutions are at that cutting edge element of commercialization of research into ideas, companies, jobs, and creating those opportunities. And we're starting to see it become tangible as well. Uh, there was a recent announcement just yesterday that in Calgary, for example, they, had, they, they broke their record for venture capital with over $200 million of investment into venture capital in the city of Calgary. That's huge. We want to see that same kind of growth here in the city of Edmonton. I know there's going to be that competition, that normal natural tension in the province of Alberta between the two cities. Uh, but we're starting to see the emergence of that economy here in the province of Alberta. And that's so important for us as we continue our diversification efforts here in our province to create new opportunities for this generation and generations to come so they know that that entrepreneurial spirit that we have here in the province of Alberta is alive and well, that those opportunities that so many of us have enjoyed in this province are going to continue to be here as we build on our strong foundation and our strong traditional economy that we have in our province. So it's with great excitement that we're announcing $6.3 million of funding that's going into artificial intelligence, health sciences, seniors care, and advanced laser technology. Uh, and I promise not to date myself with any uh, Austin Powers jokes around lasers, so I'll skip that part as well. Uh, so in addition to that, one thing I wanted to highlight is the $4.5 million for the Center for Autonomous Systems. And this is going into artificial intelligence. This is so exciting for the opportunities that are there in this space in particular to continue to make sure that we have the commercialization efforts there from autonomous vehicles, the whole bunch of different elements in here. And hopefully some people can stick around and see some of the amazing projects that are being done here at the University of Alberta, because this is really cutting edge and it's, it's stuff that's tangible and real now as you're continuing to see 5G and 6G technologies continue to be adopted and, and developed. You know, these, uh, and you're dealing with this technology it has commercial applications right now in, in the economy. These companies are growing. The trajectory of these companies is enormous. And just kind of looking at the scale and the, the speed with which businesses can grow and develop, how many people in the province of Alberta had heard of Zoom six, eight months ago? Not very many people had heard of Zoom. 
And all of a sudden, this company is worth hundred, over $100 billion. And it's, one of the, it's, an, and it's a platform that so many of us are using in our day-to-day -day lives. So this is the speed with which with industry is changing and shaping our lives. And here at the University of Alberta, we're proud of their efforts that they're doing. We want to make sure we continue to provide the funding that they need to do that research and development. We have one of the top institutions in the world, particularly as it relates to artificial intelligence and machine learning. So we thank you for your efforts. I also want to highlight the amazing fact that we had a Nobel Prize winner come out of this university. That is huge. Uh, it's a huge credit to the efforts that are done here uh, with that endeavor. And we're just proud of the work that's being done here at our university. So thank you so much. Excellent. Well, um, uh, thank you, um, Doug, and, and thank you, Dr. Forbes, as well, for, uh, uh, for the kind introduction. Uh, and as well, I want to take a quick moment as well to, to thank and acknowledge uh, President Flanagan and uh, everyone here at the University of Alberta, uh, the faculty and staff, for the uh, enormous efforts that all of you have undertaken over the course of these uh, last few months. Uh, it's important to know and, and take a moment, I believe, to acknowledge that uh, these have been some incredibly trying times for our post-secondary institutions in terms of responding to the pandemic and responding to COVID-19. And I know that so many of our post-secondary institutions uh, on a dime have had to shift <laughs> their delivery model to, uh, to an online, uh, on online uh, modality. Uh, in a very short amount of time. And I believe that uh, Dr. Flanagan, uh, uh, to you and to the entire uh, University of Alberta community, I think you all deserve a round of applause uh, for your tremendous efforts in responding to COVID-19 and for helping to keep all of our students safe during these times. Now, to the, to the topic at hand, I'm, I'm very excited to see uh, today's announcement, and thank you to Minister Schweitzer for the recognition of the important role that our post-secondary institutions play in strengthening the innovation and research ecosystem of our province. Indeed, as Minister Schweitzer mentioned, uh, we will be providing $4.5 million in new research funding. Uh, to the ma uh, from, excuse me, the Major Innovation Fund to support artificial intelligence research uh, at the Center for Autonomous Systems. And uh, I, I believe, as we all know, uh, additional support to strengthen artificial intelligence will benefit our province and so many Al Albertans. Indeed, as the world continues to evolve, as the rate of technological change advances, artificial intelligence represents the future. And making investments in artificial intelligence today will ensure a prosperous economy for all Albertans. And of course, a further 1.8 million, uh, which comes from the Research Capacity Program to fund the development of a, a laser facility uh, to develop new applications uh, for uh, skin cancer treatments. And so these investments, uh, I believe, are incredibly important to the University of Alberta and to the province of a whole. But I, I believe more broadly, what today's research announcements demonstrate is that our post-secondary institutions have a critical role to play in the future economic vitality of our province. And I believe that today's announcement is a demonstration uh, of that. Indeed, as we move forward, I think as many will know, uh, we are also exploring new ways in which we can strengthen post-secondary education in the province. And we're doing that through Alberta 2030 an ambitious plan to develop a 10-year strategic plan for our post-secondary system. And one of the essential pillars of that plan is to support the commercialization of research on our post-secondary campuses and furthermore to strengthen the research activity that occurs. Because Alberta's government recognizes that uh, these important research contributions help to create a stronger economy for all Albertans. And furthermore, uh, also, just referring to some information here that Dr. Forbes provided me, uh, which I think is, is a great demonstration of the commercial application of a lot of the important research work that occurs here on our campuses, uh, and I'm going to quote directly from your fact sheet, if I may, that uh, the companies of graduates from the U of A here, and, and I believe the Faculty of Engineering more specifically, uh, have generated over $330 billion in annual revenue 
uh, to Alberta's GDP. And so again, I believe that this is a strong demonstration of the commercial application that exists with so much of the research activity that occurs here at the University of Alberta and across all of our post-secondary institutions. And harnessing that power will be essential to the future economic recovery of our province. So, Minister Schweitzer, thank you very much for today's important announcement. And Dr. Forbes, thank you. Uh, and as well, I'd like to turn things over to Dr. Flanagan to say a few words. Thank you again. Well, thank you, Minister Schweitzer and Minister Nicolaitis. Uh, we're always delighted to welcome you back to campus. And I just wanted to also thank you for the mention of our Nobel Prize. This is something we are, of course, enormously proud of, that Dr. Michael Houghton, this is the first Nobel Prize in the history of Alberta, the only second Nobel Prize in medicine in the history of Canada. And I just wanted to mention that it was very much through the generous support of the government of Alberta that brought Dr. Michael Houghton here to the University of Alberta. And who knows, today's announcements may be planting the seeds for the next Nobel Prize for the University of Alberta. So I just wanted to, 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 to recognize that. And likewise, Mr. Nicolaitis, thank you for your kind remarks uh, in terms of the response of the university to the COVID crisis. And I just want to say our colleagues, our faculty, staff, and students have all done extraordinary work in responding, I think, in a very, very constructive way. Although we all, of course, miss a vibrant campus and we look forward to a time when we can return as soon as possible. And so, of course, delighted to share in today's announcement and ongoing support of the government of Alberta for some of the terrific research that is going on here at the University of Alberta. And at the University of Alberta, we know that, the, uh, that all, of El all Albertans are looking to us to help overcome some of the great challenges of our time. And we're not only educating thousands of students, but we're also undertaking world-leading research. And we must ensure that our discoveries and research improve the daily lives and strengthen Alberta's economy, in Alberta's communities and help our province not only overcome the challenges of today, but chart a course for tomorrow. And investments such as these from the government of Alberta are crucial to ensuring that we can continue to deliver the results that Albertans have seen and come to expect from the University of Alberta. And I'd like to take a brief moment to congratulate and thank the researchers for their cutting edge work, the researchers who are being recognized here today. It's important to note that research universities such as at the University of Alberta are home not only to students that help shape our collective future, but also to hundreds of talented researchers who are committed to advancing not only their respective fields, but their communities as well. And of course, research here at the University of Alberta helps to attract global talent investment and industry partnership and we don't need to look any further than the university of alberta's expertise in artificial intelligence which attracted google's deep mind to open its first international hub here in edmonton and our researchers and graduates play central roles in creating jobs and building sectors and industries across the province and across the country and we also enable economic diversification. We're home to Canada's largest energy research cluster. We house expertise in the full range of energy resource research and technology, from hydrocarbons to solar and biofuel to energy storage and nuclear fusion. And that expertise will help Alberta maintain its leading role in energy. We are also a wellspring of innovation in the province, the Autonomous Systems Initiative, one of the projects being funded today, teams up research and industry experts across Alberta to develop automated technologies in health, transportation, and industry. And their work will ensure that Alberta will remain competitive in the global market, will drive more efficient, more efficient energy production, uh, revolutionize transportation and advanced manufacturing, and inspire medical advancements that will save and improve lives. So we are committed to working together to spur growth and innovation in this province, to continue to play the central role that the University of Alberta has always played as a major driver of Alberta's growth and prosperity. And so I would once again like to thank the government of Alberta for today's investment in this critical research. I look forward to our continued collaboration and as I said, you're always welcome back to campus, particularly with news such as today and uh, delighted to, to welcome you again and thank you both. and with that we'll move on to media questions so uh, as always please limit your questions to one question and one follow-up operator can you please put through the first caller
there are no callers in the queue at this time. Thank you.